What's up beautiful people, welcome back on Ichi Luxury, your girl Rachel Sangara here with another entrepreneurship talk. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. So this is a continuation on the video that we started last week. If you haven't checked it, here's a video, please click on the link and go watch it before you go watch this one because you won't understand much. So we took the time last time and talked about entrepreneurship and ask ourselves what is entrepreneurship and why entrepreneurship who is an entrepreneur and and most importantly how do you become an entrepreneur so we only talked about two things last week we talked about what is entrepreneurship and what entrepreneurship is not you should check the video i'm not gonna go through it right now and we also talked about why entrepreneurship why should anyone care why are we making this video because we think it's very important and here we're gonna talk about the two other questions please subscribe if you haven't already and click on the notification bell and of course like Question number three, who is an entrepreneur? First of all, what you need to know is an entrepreneur is somebody who can see, spot problems, gaps in the society, frustrations, what makes people's life hard and bring the solution about it. You know, they develop something to solve that problem. That is an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs are people who are ready to take risks. They risk their money, they risk their time, they risk their energy into developing something that they believe is going to disrupt the world. Yes, those are entrepreneurs. And don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about uh, taking really stupid, reckless risks. No, they take calculated risks. They put, you know, they, they, they think of the right strategies, they do their market research well, and then they take the risk. Entrepreneurs are also people who are very opportunists. They see opportunities where you see problems. You know, something is not right in our society. There is corruption. There is whatever we complain about in Africa. You complain about it, the entrepreneurs are happy because they see an opportunity to provide a solution and make this world a better place and thus make money. <laughs> Again, entrepreneurs are people who are ready to put in the work required. They work hard. They would be ready to work 16 hours a day just to see their baby come to life. Don't, you know why I'm saying babies? Because they consider their business ideas as their own babies. They work hard. They sacrifice a lot. It doesn't matter if they have to sacrifice their social life or whatever, their girlfriend or boyfriend or <laughs> I don't know. But I'm not saying that all of them sacrifice their social life. Some of us still have lives. I'm not exactly me, but anyway, you get my point. They put in the work required and they sacrifice when they have to. And to finish this, entrepreneurs are passion driven. They have passions. They are visionaries. They have constant flows of ideas. They have decided to make a difference. You know, if you think that you are too small to make a difference, well, you need to sleep with one mosquito and you will tell me. <laughs> Question number four. How do you become an entrepreneur? Well, I know, you probably saying to yourself, well, everything has already been done. There is nothing to do. All solutions have been provided already. Well, that is not true. You know, as new solutions are coming, new frustrations are coming with them too because people have new needs every day. They have new uh, frustration. And that is a business idea. Just spot it. Let me give you an example. We have YouTube, right? Great video. We have great content creators. That's, you know, they need more likes, more comments, more subscribers. They need more views for their videos. And we have Facebook on the other side. People have their connections, their friends on Facebook. They would like them to watch their videos from YouTube directly to Facebook. But actually, it gets hard because you don't just do that. It's almost impossible. And that's why VidIQ come in place. If you haven't heard about VidIQ, check it out. If you're an influencer, then you probably know it already. VidIQ come in place and bring in solution for people who want their videos from YouTube to be directly played on Facebook. That is just one example of how new solutions come out 
with new problems and new frustration and you can find it. And there you go, you got your business idea. As Guy Kawasaki said in his book, The Art to Start, the question you should be asking yourself is, what's next? So what? Now that we have this thing, now that we have Facebook, now that we have Instagram, what's next? What is it that people need to complement it? What is it that's, you know, making people's life hard? And that is where you're going to find it. So yeah, there will, there will always be, there will always be a problem that you are supposed to be solving as an entrepreneur. So, um, how do you become an entrepreneur? I guess you can start by doing it. Whatever it is you're getting into your mind, do it. Because entrepreneurship is not something you learn, it's something you do. Do it! Just do it! Okay? You know what they say? I know you, you might be afraid of failing, but you know what they say? Fail early, fail cheap. And as you're failing, you're learning. It is actually not failing, they are lessons. That's how I see them. And you should see them like that too. So this is the moment you take the decision to do. Get up, walk your face off, and bring a solution. We need you, people need you. They are suffering because you haven't brought that solution. Yes? Thank you guys. And I believe that if you want to be that entrepreneur, you are in the right place. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, and click on the notification bell so that you can keep on watching this series of entrepreneurship that we just started. As I said in the beginning, we're going to cover everything you need to know so that you can start your business. It doesn't matter how small it is. Thank you for your time. See you next time again.